Hey guys, it's TBGP, and today it is time for the faded Sims 4 video. Oh no. First, I'm gonna say I'm trying to be as respectful as I can because I do not like being disrespectful. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth like Darkspawn blood. Ew. Anyway, right off the bat, I'm not hating on the Sims team or the gurus or the community, even though I'm a bit salty. I'm mostly directing this towards the actual game in EA. So don't be coming on here saying junk like, you're, you're so toxic towards the Sims team. You're just a Sims 3 fan. You have the right or anything in between. I spend my own hard-earned cash on this game. So honestly, I have the right to say whatever I wish about it. And so does everyone else who spent real money on this game or any game, to be honest. So, let's get started. Me and my sister bought this game the first year it came out, which means six years ago. Time flies, don't it? We were blinded by all the new things they added, and the moment it went on sale, we were like, let's go! And we bought it, we started playing, and boy, that didn't last very long. I don't know how long I played, but I stopped sometime in 2015 and didn't come back until Toddlers and Pools came out, which I was late on. I didn't touch this game again until 2018 in July, which means I didn't play again until a full three years later. I stopped playing because I was really disappointed that I couldn't afford any of the expansion packs, so I went back to good old Sims 3. In 2018, I played the game for like three days, got bored, ditched it for The Sims 3, and eventually deleted it again. Before I got my own computer, which was earlier this year, I played again, but with mods this time, and I played for like 20 minutes a day maybe? I'm not sure, but I got my new computer and I didn't touch the game at all. I played The Sims 3 with basically no lag, so I was like, see ya Sims 4, I got better things to do. But I came back to build houses, which were some of the first videos on this here channel. I decided a few weeks back that I'll play The Sims 4 for a whole week without playing The Sims 3 or any game, to be honest. And the only time I played The Sims 3 during that week was when I recorded or was taking screenshots. Just to remind y'all, I only have the base game of The Sims 4 because I honestly couldn't afford the expansion packs. I mean, look at these prices. $714.65. Bro, my computer costs less. I couldn't afford the digital deluxe edition, so I literally have the basic, most basic, basic version of The Sims 4. Before anyone says, if you had enough to buy a computer, then you surely had enough to buy an expansion or two. I had to buy a chair, a screen, and a headset. So, no, get that out of here. I was thinking about, I wasn't thinking about The Sims 4 since I don't really play. Also, for the price of a Sims 4 expansion, I could buy two, count them, two Sims 3 expansions. So, <laughs> no thank you. Don't get me started on The Sims. I think The Sims and The Sims 4 are like puppets or dolls, which it's Quite strange that I don't like them because I really like dolls. And I used to play whole stories with dolls as a kid. I guess the only difference between The Sims 4 Sims and dolls are that you can give the dolls the personality they deserve. While these Sims don't have any at all. <laughs> I mean, you get three traits, which is an okay amount. Then you get the special one that comes with your aspiration. But none of that matters because all the Sims feel samey. I can be a klepto, but I can't steal stuff off rip. Huh? I have to wait until I reach level 7 of the mischief skill? Uh, what? I'm a klepto, so I just take stuff because I can't help myself, but I can't take anything until I level up the mischief skill. What? Why? That doesn't make any sense. I looked up kleptomania and this is what I found. An impulsive control disorder that results in an irresistible urge to steal. See? Why can't I just steal junk when I enter the game? In The Sims 3, my kids that had that trait would bring random stuff from school back home, and you could give it back or keep it. I would sell it because 
free money, but I digress. The family-oriented trait, they like to buy toys and talk to their kiddos, but they never want children. You can play the whole game and your sims will never get the wish to have children, unlike in other games where at some point your sim wants to get married and have kids. Huh. <sighs> Enough about traits. I get annoyed just thinking about it. Your sims get no consequences. You can break up with someone, cheat on someone, get your child taken away, and your sims literally don't care. Maybe they'll get a mood lit, but you can easily change their mood by making them look at one of those aura thingies and wham, bam, your sim is happy again. But let's be serious, they have no personality at all. Emotions. I hate them. They go from happy to tense to flirty to sad to happy to angry to embarrassed to happy to tense to happy to sad. And the cycle goes on and on. I can literally do without them. Yeah, it was a cool idea, but I feel as if they wasted so much time on emotions that they didn't get to do much else. The world and townies. There is not much to say about the world since there is so little of that. You get three worlds, which didn't one didn't exist until after launch, and they are all okay, I guess, but there isn't much in them, not to mention Newcrest is empty. So, the townies. A majority of the townies are fugly. Hear me out here. The Sims team absolutely cannot, I repeat, cannot make Sims. I don't want to hear any excuses. They just can't. I mean, look at what they did to Nina and Dina. You cannot tell me they're good looking sims. The only household that looks pretty okay is the goths. I can look at them and not think they're ugly. Oh, also the pancakes give Eliza a new skin texture and she's pretty cute. And Bob, he's just perfect. The townies have no relationships with each other, like at all. Like Dawn and Katrina, ugh. Katrina, the non-existent mother of the Calientes. I actually delete her every time since she isn't supposed to exist, but I digress. Her and Dawn are supposed to have a thing going on, but they are only acquaintances as of the rest of the world. No one has relationships they should have, and I don't know if it's because they didn't have the time or if it's because they just don't care or something, but it's... An ongoing game, it gets updated all the time, but they can't come back to fix relationships. It's so disappointed going, disappointing going into a game thinking, ooh, drama, but honestly, it's absolutely nothing going on at all. Ah, babies, a song as old as time. They're objects. What else can I say? Except they come out yellow. Oh my goodness gracious. My sim is married to a black man and all the babies came out yellow. Heh, <laughs> what? Does that make any sense? I mean, it could, but it doesn't. It is totally true that a black person and a white person can have light colored babies, but it isn't going to be every single one. Look at my generation's playthrough. They had a really pale baby with blonde hair, which is a thing in real life. I did my research. See, that shows you how much realism is in the other games, even if it was accidental. But, once again, I digress. What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, the babies. I find the babies absolutely disgraceful, stupid, and honestly kind of disrespectful. I mean, some of the people on The Sims team has babies, or at least was a baby at one point, unless they're like robots. Also, the babies look like the weird Hydro Bro alien things. Anyway, stop disrespecting baby VA. Just stop. Pregnancy. I am a Sims pregnancy enthusiast. I've been through so many Sims pregnancies, you wouldn't even believe. Pregnancy in The Sims 4, so it's a thing. Not necessarily a bad thing, but not really a great thing either since it's only because not it's not what I wanted. <laughs> Playing The Sims 3 when you hear the little baby noise when you try for a baby and your Sim is pregnant, you don't see it right away. First they get nauseous from an unknown cause, then after like a day or two they find out they're pregnant. Like in real life, you don't know until a certain point in your pregnancy, even with a pregnancy test. Not to mention your belly slowly grows until you have a baby. 
In The Sims 4, you go take a test and that's it. You almost instantly have a belly. That's it, really. And then you have an object. Which reminds me... Why in the wide, wide Sims 3 world do chubby slash plus size Sims have a torpedo belly? What the heck, bro? What does... Why does it look like this? I've looked up pregnant women and not one of them look like this. There are very few pictures of women that have torpedo bellies. And guess what? They were having twins. Not one, but two. Look, there's nothing wrong with having a belly like that. But not all chubby slash plus size women have stomachs like that. I did literal tests on this with three body types. Super skinny, average 3D model, and chubby. The first two look normal and the last one looks like that. Why? Also, why do chubby people's hands and such glitch through stuff? Why? Just why? As a fellow chubby girl, I take offense to this on so many levels. Y'all say you can make any body type or shape in this game, yet when I play as them, I look weird while pregnant. Like, come on, not everyone looks like that. I prefer if everyone just had the generic D-shaped stomach rather than a torpedo. Also, I know it's a thing that women's boobs get bigger when they're pregnant, but sometimes I think it's a bit much in this game. Like, it's kind of weird. Also, I want actual maternity clothes. My sim wore a crop top and shorts the entire pregnancy. I'm sure some people do that, but I would very much like some clothes that looks like maternity clothes. Please? Anyway, stop disrespecting pregnant women, babies, and chubby people, EA. Just stop. Better skin tones, better babies, and bunk beds. Ooh, I once made a black man with the Sims 4 skin tones, and everyone in my house said he looked like darkness. And that's when I realized the skin tones suck hard. I mean, how hard is it to make a skin tone? Modders who do literally everything by themselves do it, yet a big AAA company can't. EA, what? Modders just do this stuff for fun, and they do amazing jobs on it. While you lot are a big company getting paid for this. Please tell me how any of that adds up. Babies. Y'all heard, heard me earlier, right? Don't make me repeat myself. I find babies in The Sims 4 so uninteresting that I let my baby sleep in a closet in my Sims house. And then aged it up almost instantly. They ain't worth my time. But if you fix them, then maybe, you know, <laughs> you'd have my attention. Bug beds, what are you waiting for? Modders are out here right now making fully functional bunk beds, which have no problems. Yet you guys think it's hard. I don't understand. I know, trust me, making games and animations are not easy. But you guys have so many talented coders and 3D modelers. But you find making a climbing up a ladder, which is in the base game now, by the way, animation, and getting into a bed so hard when you already have the base lines. What is EA doing to you guys? I feel like EA is doing something to hit these game developers where it hurts and takes control of their games. Extra farms, cars, and generations. Let's be honest, the game is too closed off to have a proper farm, so I bet that won't happen. Just like generations, cars, and the beloved color wheel, which was not even mentioned in the letter. Sorry, but with the way the game is going, I don't think we're going to get get any of that anytime soon or at all to be honest ah yes i knew things would come down to this sooner or later so <laughs> me and the sims 4 community don't get along very well why you may wonder well i decided sometime last year that or the year before i don't remember anyway i decided that i wanted to join the sims community since i like the sims but boy it was all good and dandy when i was just posting screenshots but the moment i made a post about how buying the sims 3 now is less expensive than buying the sims 4 and that it was more worth it that's when things started to get bad people started to downvote my post so i was so as I was using Reddit, but I didn't care about that since it was just people disliking my junk. It happens and I don't care. But they started to say things like, that game isn't good. Ugh, Sims 3 fan. You have no right to say anything about The Sims 4. The Sims 3 Sims are so ugly and such. And that just got on my nerves. Also, I get an email every time someone comments on my stuff. So my already spammed email got even more spam. 
So I just deleted it. Then I also posted about how, how much I loved the Shim Street and got the same backlash. And I deleted that one too since it was just annoying. Look, I know for a fact that usually I'm instantly hated. I don't know. It's just something that happens to me. But I wasn't the only one that got this kind of treatment. So many posts about The Sims 3 that I liked got deleted by the people who posted them because of this. Not everyone is like that. There are some really cool Sims 4 players, but there are also a lot of toxic, awful people who hate anyone who likes the other games. Yeah, there are Simmers and other sides of the community that are awful, but The Sims 4 community is just... Hmm... Like, I heard people were getting death threats for supporting The Sims 3. And that's not right. That's not right at all. No one. I mean, no one deserves to get death threats for anything, no matter if they're a bad person or not. No one deserves this treatment. And EA and The Sims team needs to assess this problem quick because somebody could get hurt by this. And if that happens, nobody is going to stand for it. I know I won't. To all the people that don't know about this, it's because it is drowned out by the more popular simmers and others not talking about it. The only person who ever says anything about this stuff is the YouTuber Marin UYT. She is the only one I've ever heard talk about these problems, and I totally respect her for that. I love the Sims franchise, but bro, the community is in shambles because of EA. They really must love to see everyone setting each other on fire. Like, this is worse than that one time Hank Gordon starved to death. He didn't deserve this pain, nor does the community. So I hope they figure out something to fix this mess and maybe stop ignoring Sims 1, 2, and 3 players. I have nitpicks and so do you. So one of my nitpicks are the first kiss animation. Oh my gosh, I hate that animation so much. It fills me with rage the moment I see it. Why? Thanks for asking! I hate it because it looks stupid. I mean, their lips aren't even touching. How is that a kiss? All the other kiss animations, their lips touch. With the first kiss, no, they can't touch lips. Yuck, gross. Nitpick number two, they smile way too much. I mean, when I'm upset, I barely smile. Honestly, I don't even speak. But them, they smile like they're being held against their will. Nitpick number three, how conversations work. Like, it's all good and dandy to talk to five people at once, but when I'm in a romantic conversation, I don't want Mortimer to decide it's a good time to talk. I can be flirting with someone, then my kids or someone else's kids will just walk up like, Susie, I bet your parents are like, Jimmy, close your ears, those people are being inappropriate. I just wish that randos wouldn't be able to join my romantic conversations. Nitpick number four, lack of male clothes and hair. That's it. Nitpick number five. Too many god dang skills. Why split cooking into two skills? Why? Nitpick number four. Teenagers look exactly like adults, just skinnier. No consequences. This game has absolutely no consequences. I played the base game with no mods at all, and I had five boyfriends hoping I could cause some chaos. I invited all the boyfriends over, including one of their wives, and nothing happened. I flirted, kissed, even woohooed with them, and nothing happened. They all still loved her. I sat there like, this woman has committed a very large case of infidelity, and all of her boyfriends don't care. If this was one of the other games, a fight would have broke loose, and it wouldn't have been the men brawling. I think maybe they need to fix that, since it feels like my sims could get away with murder. So, okay, I've got some issues that didn't fit in the other categories, so I'm gonna put them right here. The careers, there aren't many of them in the base game. They didn't add some of the basic jobs until get to work. Humor, The Sims is known for its morbid and somewhat adult humor. I mean, look at the tragic clown. He is the definition of morbid humor. Also, the social bunny. They used to have like dancers coming out of cakes and ones that come to your bachelor and bachelorette parties, but in The Sims 4, we have stuff like taking angry poo and pee like a champion. 
I don't know if it's just me, but I don't find that joke funny at all. I think it's actually kind of stupid. Sure, there was dumb stuff in the other games, and but you could at least drown it out with the actual funny stuff. Do you guys remember death messages? I love those. I remember playing with Late Night, and I got a message saying something like, Penny has died from electrocution. She should have left tinkering with electronics to the professionals. I was like, who the freak is Penny? But I laughed because I got a weird message when she died. We don't get those in The Sims 4. We only get a message that they tell us that they died or something. Age demographic. Uh, so, I think they're aiming the game towards kids. Hear me out. They took out certain things that made the game actually T14. Oh, gosh. Um, I'm going to sound like a weirdo here. In The Sims 3, when your Sims made out on the bed, they looked like this. And in The Sims 4, they look like this. Obvious, The Sims 3 one is a little... <coughs> and the one from The Sims 4 is kind of tame. Moving on. They posted The Sims 4 Journey to Cash Grab on the Star Wars Kids channel. What? Why? Don't they know a majority of The Sims are teenagers and older? Why would they... EA, don't tell me. You're trying to aim this towards kiddos. Don't do that. Look, I played the game a little too early on in life, and so did a lot of people, but actually trying to force it for kids? Why? You should try to keep your fans instead of pushing them away for a generation that has the attention span of a magic card. Okay, so graphically the game looks good. Except the Sims look like Play-Doh and the hair looks like action figure clip-on hair. Oh my gosh. It looks like Lego hair. Sorry, but I honestly prefer realistic looking Sims instead of very cartoony ones. So this is just my preference. Anyway, it doesn't lag as much as The Sims 3, but it definitely does have some lag. Like, there are times that I get random lag for no reason. Like, when I take a picture with the phone, it lags. The Sims around town don't really do anything except randomly come to your house, knock once, then come in. That's, um... Yeah. I don't know if it's just me, but my Sims have, like, no respect for the person they're dating at all. They keep flirting with other people for no reason, and it just makes me mad. Like, in The Sims 3, if they had the flirty trait, they'd randomly flirt, but that's, like, it. Or, like, other Sims would try to flirt with them, but they'd usually be like, Ew, no, I ain't into that. Ah, yes. I knew it would come down to this. So, the gameplay. What is that? No, no, I'm just joking. The gameplay is, uh, lacking in a lot of departments. Especially family gameplay. Like, when you have kids, it really doesn't matter. They just sit there, eat, sleep, do their homework, and wait to age up into another useless life stage. Teenagers. While playing the game, I was just sitting on my chair, reading manga or writing, which I usually do while waiting for my sims to wake up or come back from work when I play the other games. But I did this the entire game because I got kind of bored of just staring at my sims, eating, sleeping, using the bathroom, and talking. Let me just say, that gets stale fast. Yeah, I know, they do the exact same thing in the other games, and that too gets boring sometimes. But in the other games, my sims could take care of themselves. So I would just leave it on, three speed, and wait until I have money or time for them to go out to the park or something. Speaking of going out, in The Sims 4, I hate leaving my house. Why, you may ask? Because the lots get super overly crowded. No, this is not just because of mods. It literally just over gets overly, over, overly crowded. <laughs> I tested this in the base game, no mods, and it's the same thing. And my sims keep getting the see what's happening interaction, and they completely ignore me even if I'm telling them to go get some food or something. To be honest, without the expansions, what is it that you'd have to do outside anyway? You can just buy all the same stuff that that's at the library, nightclubs, museum, parks, gyms, and wait, 
that's all the loss we have in the base game. Not saying you can't do that in the other games, but I felt like I had a purpose for leaving my house. Another thing about going out, your sims don't get stir crazy if they're in their house for days on end, meaning you literally don't have to go outside if you don't want to. Also, there are no places to eat if you don't have dine out. At least in The Sims 3, we had two restaurants we could go to in the base game and we could eat quick meals at the gym. So at least I won't starve to death. But in The Sims 4, you have to eat chips or go to the park and grow your own food. Overall, I just think the gameplay is. Meh. I know I sound pretty negative about the game so far, but there are some things that I actually like about the game. I promise. Cass, it is the best we have ever had, but it's missing the color wheel and the only thing that makes it a little less desirable. Build mode is honestly just great. It is so good and easy to use, but once again, it's just missing the color wheel. Look, I just want my wood to match. Just match, please. Multitasking is also pretty good unless your sims decide to glitch and take three hours to eat some tacos. I mean, I can eat tacos in less than 20 minutes sometimes, but I, you do you. There are probably more, but I just can't think of them right now. Overall, I really, really wanted to like this game, but EA gives me too many reasons not to like it. I bought it all excited and hopeful, but in the end, I just got disappointed because the game is lacking in so many ways. I'm not saying anyone should hate the game, like it. I just think it's overall disappointing. But that is my opinion, and my opinion is my own, and yours is yours. So I say if you love it, love it. If you hate it, hate it. It's up to you. Which reminds me, they posted something about the skin tone, so cool, at least they're doing something right. And yeah, I realized that, but I meant what I said about the skin tones, and it still stands, stands, since it took six years for this. Do I think EA needs to step up and make the game better? Absolutely, the game is lacking, and people are getting so sick of it that they, they're moving back to the old games. Are the game changers helping? Sort of. I feel like EA depends on them to settle the problems within the community instead of them doing it themselves, which is making the game changers unnecessarily stressed and they keep getting yelled at like it's their job to fix the game, which it isn't. Is the community making things worse? In a way, they kind of just attack people for no reason. I mean, if I get people to actually watch this video, I'm probably going to get attacked too. Well, cars, generations, bunk beds, color wheels, and better babies, and farming actually come. I highly doubt it, but it could if they want people to stop to keep playing. <laughs> Is this video finally ending? Yes. And on that note, thank you guys for bearing with me and listening to me talk a lot. This was TBGP, T TBG, TBGP, and I will see you guys later. And bye-bye. Ah!